guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to share with you a YouTube income report because I haven't done one of these for over a year and I feel like it's overdue. I wanna share with you exactly how much money YouTube is paying me these days and I'm definitely gonna be bringing you behind the scenes onto my YouTube analytics dashboard to show you all the numbers. Before I get into that though, I just wanted to talk about the potential elephant in the room, which is, am I actually gonna tell you exactly how much I earn? Am I even allowed to? Because I don't know about you, but I've watched videos like this before where the YouTubers said they were gonna share exactly how much they earned and then for some reason didn't and kind of beat around the bush and said they weren't really allowed to disclose that information. But as far as I can tell in the YouTube terms of service, there's no such restriction and I've shared this information in past videos uh, at least two times in the past. I've done about once a year for the past three or so years here and I've never experienced any negative consequence from it. YouTube's never told me I shouldn't have done that. YouTube's never done anything negative with my channel at all so I'm pretty sure that I am a-okay to be sharing this information with you guys. Now as far as why other people don't share, I'm not exactly sure but I'm guessing it's either because they're uncomfortable talking about money or else because they honestly think that they aren't allowed to share just because they've heard other people say this as well. Um, but personally I think that it's so important that we do talk about this kind of stuff because I think that the more honest conversations we can have about money, the more it really helps everyone if these topics just aren't taboo. I also just wanted to mention that in the recent past, I have seen more YouTubers make videos like this and actually share their numbers. And that makes me really happy because I think it's really cool that more people are being more open about this stuff. So in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you inside my YouTube analytics and I'm going to be sharing with you both how much my channel earned over the past month, as well as how much it earned over the past year so that you can get some perspective on how much it's earning on average and how much it's been earning recently. Okay, so we are gonna pull up my YouTube analytics, which I've got right here. And immediately what we see is that right now I am at 331,000 subscribers. So that's just for reference, if you're wondering like how many subscribers I have to make the current amount of money. And then the thing I wanna let you guys know, and part of the reason why I'm going to share with you the whole past year, not just the past month, is that this past month views were definitely up. Um, we got 813,000 views in the past month, and I would say that in a normal month I get about 500,000. It says right here that I'm up 8%, but that's just 8% compared to the previous 30 days, and it was kind of up last month too. Editing Gillian here. So unfortunately, when I was recording this, my screen did not record properly, so I'm having to create the screen recording after we filmed the video, um, which just means that all the numbers are gonna be a tiny bit different than what I'm reading off the screen but you're still gonna see inside my YouTube analytics dashboard and all that. I just wanted to let you know why the numbers you're seeing maybe don't match up exactly with the numbers that I'm saying in the video you're watching. Okay, that's all. I'll let you get back to it. So that's kind of what we are looking at right now. So we're just gonna click over to the analytics tab and to the revenue tab to see exactly how much it earned. So in the last 28 days, it earned $6,659.27, um, but let's just change that so we can see actually the last 30 days um, and get a correct view of a full month. Okay, so now we're looking at the last 30 days. It's $7,511.59. And so that is the money that YouTube will pay me um, in about three weeks here for the ads that people clicked on during this 30-day period. Um, and so now let's just look at the CPM. So that is how much YouTube is paying me for every thousand views. And this is an averaged number, so it's not that they are promising to pay me this much for every thousand views that I get, but it's just on average to this is how much I have earned. It's $14.70. Uh, and we're gonna get into looking at a couple particular videos also, so I can show you that it's very different from one video to the next, but I will let you know that this cost 
per mil, which is the, the amount I earn for every thousand views. It varies a lot from one channel to the next and even from one video to the next. It can range anywhere between zero dollars all the way up to fifty dollars per thousand views. For most people, it ranges between about one dollar and twenty dollars. But I was recently watching one of Roberto Blake's videos and he shared that he has a few videos that are earning him forty, forty-five, fifty dollars per thousand views, which is just crazy. I didn't even know until watching that video that it could go quite that high. But that's what happens if you have a very competitive keyword that is a money related keyword and also you have all the ads turned on. And the reason that I didn't know that it could go that high was because I don't have quite all the ads turned on on my videos. Um, also, I'll get into that in just a minute, which ads I have turned on and why. Okay, so now let's look at the views that I got over this past month to see exactly where that money came from. Over the past 30 days here, I got 934,000 views, so just shy of a million views on my channel, and that million views earned me that roughly $7,500. Those, that came from 600,000 different viewers. Um, and for those of you who are nerds like me, I got 13 million impressions, which means that YouTube basically suggested my videos 13 million times. And then out of that 13 million, one thirteenth of those actually clicked on the video and watched. Um, so that means that I had an impression click through rate of 4.4%. Now I know that that math doesn't quite make sense because I looked at those numbers and I thought that was a little bit weird, but basically down here you can see that YouTube recommended my videos those almost 13 million times and then I got half a million views from the impressions, that's that 4.4% and then I also got additional views on top of those views from impressions which were views that were directly driven to my channel um, where people were going to the direct link. Okay, so now let's take a look at how much my channel has earned for the past year. So we're going back to the revenue tab, but now we are going to change it to the last 365 days. And this right here is how much money my YouTube channel earned from ads in the last 365 days. It's $63,842,000. So a little over $60,000 just from ad revenue. I just think that is so cool because that right there is a full-time income and that's just from the ads on my videos. It's not me doing anything else to earn any additional money, just from making videos, and that is pretty cool. On average, over the past 365 days, the CPM, or the amount that YouTube paid me on average for every thousand views was $16.32, so a little over $16 per thousand views that I got. Okay, now let's get into looking at a few of my top earning videos to see what the CPM was for those videos. So this video right here is called How to Start a YouTube Channel, and over the past year it has gotten 1.4 million views, and it has earned a bit over $6,000. But when we click over to the Revenue tab, we'll see that it only earned $8.11 for every thousand views that it got. So a little bit lower than average for my channel for this topic of basically how to start a YouTube channel. Um, now, like I said, different keywords pay different amounts. So that's how much this one earned for this topic, but let's look at some other ones as well. My next highest earning video was this one right here, nine passive income ideas. And this one was published less than a year ago. So instead of telling us how much it's earned in 365 days exactly, it's telling us how much it earned since it was published. And this one earned $21.03 for every thousand views that it got. So more than double what that other video earned. And again, this is primarily due to the difference in the keywords. The other one was about how to start a YouTube channel. This one is about how to earn passive income. And now what I'm gonna do is jump down to a video that's on a different topic because the next few videos that earned a lot of money over the past year were also about ways to earn money from home, ways to earn passive income. So the one that's on a different topic is this one right here about how to write a business plan. I really loved how practical this video was and it seems like a lot of you guys did too. And this video came out in March of last year. So it's been out for a little bit less than a year right now. It's earned $3,600. 
And it has earned an average of $25.96 per thousand views, almost $26 for every thousand views that it got, which I think is really cool because this video is about such a practical topic, just how to write a business plan. I really break that down in this video. And that just shows that it's not just videos about how to make money that are the very most popular or that pay the very best. One thing that is so important to keep in mind as you're thinking about how much money you could potentially earn on YouTube is just that some of the most popular topics on YouTube are actually some of the topics that pay the very worst. Uh, and it actually, it really makes sense why this would be when you think about it. The most popular topics are in entertainment categories. So these already are categories that are a little bit more generic and advertisers are not going to be quite as keen on them. Advertisers love topics that are really specific, more niche topics where they can advertise to just the right people. But because entertainment has more of a broad appeal, lots of people like things that are funny or interesting. The advertisers know that they're not going to reach as specific of a type of person, so they're not going to pay as much money per click that they get from those ads. And then the other thing that drives down the CPM for those videos is just that because they are more competitive, that means there's a lot more of those videos. And so there's a lot more competition amongst the creators in that space. And it is cheaper for the advertisers to place an ad on one of those videos. Whereas in a more niche category, there are just fewer places for advertisers to potentially put ads. And so each place is worth a little bit more money. So it's not just money-making topics that pay better, it's anything that's a bit more niche is going to pay better than something that's more general like entertainment or vlogs. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you inside my analytics um, was about the ad placements that I have, what types of ads I have turned on for my videos, because this is another thing that will affect how much money your videos earn. Um, so you can change this on a video level or you can change it on a channel level. So you're changing it for all your videos. So my channel defaults are set like this. I have all the different types of ads turned on but I don't have ads turned on during my video. So what that means is that when you're watching my videos, you should only ever see ads at the beginning or the end of my videos or ads over in the side, like next to the videos or down below, but you shouldn't ever be stopped while you're watching one of my videos to watch an ad. Now, the reason that I have all the types of ads turned on is because it really does help to support this channel to have this ad money coming in. And I also think that it really is just part of the, the normal culture on YouTube to see some ads, unless you're paying for YouTube premium, you expect that but I personally hate those during video ads. I find them really frustrating and just generally a waste of time and I don't wanna waste your guys' time. So that's why I keep those turned off. Although now that I've seen some other people's income reports on their YouTube channel, I realized that if I turned those on, I could potentially be earning twice as much money for every view that I get on my channel but I still don't wanna turn them on because I want you guys to have the best experience possible. And I think that if I turn those on, I could potentially be reducing the number of views that I get because I don't know about you, but sometimes when I see those mid-roll video ads, it makes me stop watching the video. So I don't wanna turn you guys away like that or like I said, waste your time. So that's how I have my ad settings set right now. Of course, there's not a right or a wrong way to do that, but this is what's working for my channel. Okay, so before we wrap this up, I did just want to do a quick minute of math here because like I said, the amount that my channel earned over the past month, that's 7,500 or so dollars, it's not really typical of how much my channel normally earns because views were a lot higher this past month. So I just wanted to divide the amount I earned over the past year, this $63,842 um, by 12 and find out the average amount that my channel actually earned each month. Okay, so as you can see here, my channel earned an average of $5,320 per month, basically $5,300 a month over the past year. That's certainly higher than it has earned in other years. In past, last year, the average my channel earned was around $4,000, and then in the first 
12 months that I had it, by the end of that 12 months, it was earning about $2,000 a month. So that's kind of been the progression. First year, by the end of the first year, 2,000. Second year, 4,000. And now in this third year of running the channel, we're up to about 5,300. So I hope that that helps to give you a little bit of perspective on how much you can earn with a YouTube channel. So let's talk for a minute about exactly how YouTubers actually make money. There are several different ways that YouTubers can make money, but what we're talking about in this video is how YouTubers make money with ads. They're making money through Google's ad platform called AdSense. So how YouTubers make money in this way is once they meet the minimum threshold that YouTube has set for number of subscribers and for hours of watch time, then they are able to sign up for an AdSense account and monetize their channel. And from then on, YouTube will put ads on their videos. And whenever someone clicks on one of these ads, the YouTuber will receive 50% of the money that that business who ran the ad paid to YouTube to have that person click on their ad. So said another way, businesses pay YouTube to have their ads run on YouTube videos. And then when people click on those ads, then YouTube gets the money and keeps half of it and gives the other half to the creator. So in case you've ever wondered, no, YouTubers don't get paid for the number of views they get on videos or for the number of subscribers that they have, but those things certainly do impact how much money a YouTuber makes. Because typically the more subscribers you have, the more views you'll get. And for every thousand views that your videos get, you'll earn an average ad rate. So there will be an average number of people who will click on those ads for every person that watches. And so your ad rate is pretty consistent depending on how many views your videos get. In order to get monetized initially, here's what you need. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Watch hours are just time that people spend watching your videos. You need to get the whole 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month period. And when you get it, you need to have those 1,000 subscribers. When both of those requirements are met, then you'll be able to monetize your videos and start making money from ads. Now, here's the real thing you need to keep in mind. In order to get both of those things, watch hours and subscribers, what you really need to get is views because as you get views, some of those viewers will turn into subscribers. And as you get views, you'll rack up those watch hours. So that's what you need to focus on getting views. If you want some help with that, then be sure to check out my free workshop called how to get views on YouTube with zero subscribers. There's a link down below that you can click on to find out more about the workshop. Like I said, it's completely free and I would love to have you watch it and learn more about how to get those views so that you're able to get your channel monetized. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video. I just really wanted to share this with you guys to show you what a great living you can make from YouTube. I think it's so cool that these days you can make a living doing something as fun and as flexible as this. If you are interested in working for yourself and making a living doing something really fun and flexible like this, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because that's what all my videos are about and I make new ones every single week. So click that subscribe button and also ring the bell to get notified so you don't miss the next one. Okay, that's really all, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.